Hi folks, Bert Sperling here with Best Places. And we're gonna meet today with Nick Arnold, our data guy who's been doing some amazing visualizations, uh, working on some climate data, and I wanted to show you. In fact, there's Nick right there. Great. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna get to him and hear what he has to say and to show us. It's really exciting. Hey folks, today we're looking at uh, hurricane data. The idea here is we wanna create a natural hazards uh, data house. So what we're doing is looking at hurricane data. And what we've actually done is if you're looking at the map here, you can see this is just the US. Uh, it's pretty simple. We're looking at counties here. Uh, the data that we're looking at for hurricanes is actually all these red lines that I just popped on screen. And as we zoom out here, you can see, boy, there's a lot of them. And of course, being on the eastern US, this is unsurprising as this is the Atlantic Ocean, which is our most active hurricane uh, ocean. But of course, on the left-hand side, you can see the Pacific Ocean as well. So you can take these lines and we can try to figure out how many hurricanes are happening in a certain place. And in doing so, you can make a really interesting, this is called a choropleth visualization. And basically we say, okay, on the Eastern United States, it makes sense. You've got higher, more intense colors. That's where more hurricanes occurred. So you can take a really interesting data set like the storm tracks and you can create a really more useful choropleth data set from the maps here. Wow, that's really cool, Nick. Now you've got another thing, and that's storm surges. Mm -hmm. and this is just where the hurricanes are hitting, but the storm surges are the effects of that and how it's hitting the coastal area. Can we see a visualization of that? Absolutely, let's take a look at storm surges. Okay, now back all the way out here, you can see, oh, there's just some you know red and orange and yellow colors on the Atlantic coast. What's really interesting is when you dive in here, if we zoom in a little bit on the Louisiana area, you can start to see you get some really interesting structures here. You can see you even get these river channel kind of patterns here, which makes a lot of sense. This should come through the data because again, this is storm surge. So the idea is, you know, these areas that have more intense colors are going to have more influx of water from the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, obviously, that's you know a waterway area to be concerned about here. Wow, and these are the things we're reading about in the news almost on a daily basis, where people are affected by um, high tides and the water inundation that comes with that. So if you could zoom back out and let's take a look at the like the entire uh, Florida and wow, you can see that. And there's South Carolina and uh, the Everglades, of course. So now the effect of this is we're gonna be putting this into our best places data. We're gonna create some indexes and people can go to any place in the US and see the effect of hurricanes and storm surges. And uh, what other data are we looking to add to our climate section? Well, we're evaluating things such as tornadoes and hail. Uh, we're also updating a brand new data set for snowfall. Of course, we uh, are you know, doing the, the more primary uh, useful things such as temperature, precipitation, humidity. Those things are getting updated as well. So we're trying to add some, some hazard type of features in addition to just the bulk of the, the, the primary climate data. Well, that's great. Okay, thanks a lot, Nick. And uh, folks, if you like what you see, be sure to send Nick some fan mail. <laughs> Nick at bestplaces.net. And uh, that's sort of some of the fun projects we're doing here at Best Places. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.